If you have ever wondered about vending machines in Japan, you're in the right place. This is Inside Japan. Vending machines are everywhere in Japan and there are many different types. Most vending machines hold drinks, but some have food, cigarettes, or other items. Some drink vending machines are cheaper than others, but it depends on the drinks, the size, and the containers. The drinks are about the same price that you would find at a convenience store, but a lot more expensive than at the supermarket. The red under the drinks means that the drinks are heated, and the blue represents cold drinks. The vending machines that contain food are not as common as the one with drinks. There are some machines that have snacks inside, but there are others that serve hot food. What happens is that you would select your food like a normal vending machine, but these vending machines have microwaves attached to them. So the food you select falls into the microwave, and after it is done you can enjoy your nice hot food. Just like there are vending machines for hot food, there are also vending machines for cold food, such as ice cream. There are vending machines that sell cigarettes. Not everyone can get cigarettes from these machines. For this, you would need a Taspo card. To obtain this card, you would have to fill out a form and mail it along with a photo of your face and a copy of a valid document such as a driver's license. After this, you are free to buy cigarettes. Just like many other places, there are vending machines that have toys. In Japan, these are called gacha gacha. You can have your choice of many characters or a variety of toys. These can be found in malls or other populated areas where there are toys. Some might be wondering about the vending machines that have ladies underwear, and those can be found in adult shops. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about Japan or anything in this video, feel free to ask in the comment section or contact us on Twitter at InsideJapanInfo. This was Inside Japan, and thank you for watching.